<laughs> I don't know, maybe that's too harsh. That shit bothers me, man. But I think harsh is your middle name. Dude, there is an epidemic crazy, of gold digging whores in this country. Oh. Here it comes. Every night I put on the news Here it comes. and I'm waiting for someone to address it. Oh. Every night, never see it, you know? And every night I bring up gold digging whores and the whole crowd pulls back like I'm up here talking about Bigfoot. Right? <laughs> like I'm saying the moon's made out of cheese or something. <laughs> talking about whores, people! They're everywhere! <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shirts React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're on the road to 50k. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. I'm afraid to get married, man. Why would, why wouldn't, as, why man wouldn't be afraid to get married at this point? You know, look at Kobe. Look at the shit he's going through right now. Oh. Right? The guy's getting a divorce. One of them, huh? His wife's going to get 70 million bucks. Never hit a layup in her life. That's crazy. You know, can anybody explain these divorce settlements? Can anybody make sense of these fucking things? Tiger Woods' wife, $250 million. Mm. Yeah, She's a babysitter worth a quarter of a billion fucking dollars. Hold up, Hold up. Hold up. Listen, somebody. That baby. I like Bill with Nia. <laughs> I like Bill with Nia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause it's like you gotta listen to every single word Bill says. Come on, babysitter. I, but you gotta understand this too. I we don't believe in a term when it comes to like divorce. So okay, yeah. whenever these big mega million uh, relationships break up, it's like you know she, especially if she didn't do anything other than encourage him. Okay. She gets a big portion of that. But babysitter? Oh, that topic, yeah, babysitter. That's babysitter, crazy. the yeah. mother of his children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? But no, 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 no. I do understand what you're saying because when Mary Jane got divorced, hmm. baby, I was hurt for her. Shoot, let, let's see what he got to say. It's like people know, know he, people know they sign up for when they get related, especially if you know that you got that like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Somebody explain. Justify it. Justify you, it. You what, what? He cheated on her? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. He cheated on her. Great, the relationship's over right then. Kobe cheated, right? Shouldn't that relationship been over right then? Why did she hang around like some jaded cop for three years trying to get her fucking pension? Right? Get that ten years in? Pension. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's too harsh. That shit bothers me, man. But I think harsh is your middle name. Dude, there is an epidemic crazy, of gold digging whores in this country. Oh. Here it comes. Every night I put on the news. Here it comes. And I'm waiting for someone to address it. Oh. Every night, never see it, you know? And every night I bring up gold digging whores and the whole crowd pulls back like I'm up here talking about Bigfoot. Right? <laughs> like I'm saying the moon's made out of cheese or something. <laughs> talking about whores, people. They're everywhere. <laughs> They're everywhere. How many? How many more great men are going to get chopped in half before we do something? Why is it so quiet in here? Oh, man. God damn, I don't get it. What is it? Is it women? Do you think I'm calling you? A, I'm not calling any woman here a whore, okay? So don't pull back. That, that's not fair, okay? If you brought up wife beaters, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like pull back. I get it. There's guys hitting women, they need to be stopped. We got to understand that gold digging whores are the wife beaters for men. Yeah, they are. Except we don't have that Rihanna lumped up photo in the end. Yo. So it's not obvious. Not really, bro. It's in the eyes. Golly. It's in the lines in your face. It's in Mel Gibson's high-pitched voice on the answering machine. I had to give up my Laker tickets. <laughs> right? That is the sound of a man being taken for everything he's got. I got to tell you, it's just, I'm envious of women, okay? I'm not saying your problems get solved. But at least they're taken seriously. Mm. You know? People, you got 1-800 numbers, you, get, you, got, you got ribbons, there's groups. That's People like give a shit. Us. Anything happens to a guy, it's just considered funny. <laughs> Some woman cut her husband's dick off, threw it in the garbage disposal, and turned it on. 
Listen. People thought it was hilarious. They were like, hey, hey, Stumpy. Nobody cares. Do you think if a guy removed a woman's titty and threw it in the dryer, anybody would be joking about it the next day? No, no. The entire... Uh, we'll be rioting, okay? Yeah, it'll be crazy, right, bro? No, I do remember on Snap or something, I watched the story about mm. that. On Snap and... Huh. He, he made it, but he was able, they was able to put it back on. They was able to put it back on. Ugh. Yeah, you, you yeah. say it out loud, it's like, whoa, yeah. it, went, it went down like that, yeah, they huh? had to go find it. They had to go find it. <laughs> Bro, yeah. I just can't imagine now. That's, that's, I got no comment for that. I one, visualize stuff a little bit too much. When he said, mm. ugh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Country would grind to a halt. There'd be a moment of silence. The NFL would have some special colored headband everybody had to wear <laughs> for an crazy. entire month. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, most yeah, effeminate bro. color they could possibly come up with. All my heroes are going down. Arnold Schwarzenegger, another great man. Another great man. Taken down by that gold digging whore of a maid he's got. And I'm not, I'm not saying he's not a piece of shit for doing what he did. It was a piece of shit move. But how come only he got chastised? What about the maid? Why was she called the maid the, that entire story? She was never called a whore, ever. So you're going to validate Just this word today. She knew his wife, first name basis, played with their kids, fucked her husband in their own goddamn bed. That's right down the checklist. First ballot Hall of Fame whore. Right there. Whoa. Never. Why do you think she hooked up with him? Because of that 1987 flat top he's still rocking? The giant space between his teeth I could put this mic cord through? Or do you think maybe it's all that kindergarten cop money laying around the goddamn bedroom? No, it's awful. It's a horrific thing to see as a guy, watching guys go through that shit, you know? And then there's no, there's no sort of examination of it. They just go, ah, he's an idiot. Hey, he's stupid. <laughs> that guy's stupid. If that guy's stupid, what the fuck am I, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> Does it even make sense? Why would you do that? Why would you accomplish all that and then fuck it up, hooking up with one of the <laughs> ugliest human beings I've ever seen in my life? <laughs> I'm not saying I'm a prize. I'm just saying, you know? It's got to be something beyond that, right? It's like he went for his response. You know what I think it is? I think it comes down to the way he talks. You know? <laughs> that dude should be unloading trucks in Transylvania. Bruh. Bruh. That should be. That should have been the height of his success. But because he's a great man, he had the balls to move to America. Became famous for lifting weights. I lift weights. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> He lifts weights. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah. Become super famous. Did he rest on his laurels? No. Next challenge. I'm gonna become an actor, despite the fact that nobody can really understand me. <laughs> Against all odds, he starts making movies. Get down. There's a bomb. Get out of there. <laughs> Becomes one of the biggest blockbuster stars of all time. Blockbuster. What are you gonna do next, Arnie? I think I'm Maria Kennedy. There's no fucking way you can do that. Bam! He does it. <laughs> Cherry on top, I'm running for governor of a state I can't even pronounce, and he wins the election. Mm. Why wouldn't this guy think he couldn't bang his maid in his own bed and get away with it? This dude has been in the zone for over four decades. Yo, that zone is crazy, bro. That's how it be. Four decades, nothing but net. Bang a maid in my own bed? Dude, that's a layup. Are you serious? Bro, yeah, sometimes you gotta just snap back into reality. I feel like a lot of people just be in the zone, man, lost mm -hmm. in the sauce. And they just Sorry, don't man. think nothing about nothing. It works for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever you do just works. This is not reality, bro. Don't think about the people it's gonna hurt. Just trifle it. Hey. I had a hit movie with the midget. I don't even need a condom. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Told y'all. Hey, harsh is middle name. They don't care. And then what happens? The smoke clears. Then all these trolls come out of the woodwork and start judging this great man. All these fatties, these fucking old guys who never got any with their jowls. Coming on TV, absolutely reprehensible behavior. <laughs> what kind of a public servant? His, his, his legacy is shrouded! <laughs> like they have any idea what it's like to be tempted at that level, right? Like they have groupies as they waddle out to their mercury tracer parked on the other side of a dumpster. Really? You're beating them off? 
this guy, he's not a great man anymore. Terminator doesn't count. Is that what the fuck you're telling me? Because he fucked Alice, really? He's still not a great man because he did that. Then that's, the whole thing's over. Anybody here think they could move to Austria, learn the language, become famous for working out, then be a movie star, then marry into their royalty and hold public office? How many lifetimes would you need? I'm on my third attempt at Rosetta Stone Spanish. All right. How can I judge these guys? I can barely handle the temptations of Facebook. I'm going to judge Tiger Woods. I golf. I don't walk off the 18th hole and there's a busload of Scandinavian women waiting to fuck my brains out. Sorry, ladies. Got to go home to the wife, right? No, it kills me. And there's no help out there for guys. There isn't. There's nothing out there to help you handle becoming rich and famous. There's nothing to prepare you for that, for that platoon of whores that's going to form on the horizon. Right? Like Braveheart. Faces painted, skirts on, will run down the hill, they'll jump on your dick in front of your wife. They don't give a shit. It's not even a handbook out there. It's not a handbook. I saw one article written about it on, on the cover of Time magazine. It said, why do so many rich, famous, and powerful men act like absolute pigs? Right? And the article was actually written by a woman. That's like me writing a book, the third trimester, and what to expect. Bro. <laughs> Ladies, you're gonna feel a pressure. <laughs> How the hell would I know? You don't want to hear that from me, right? No. Then why is this woman telling me what it's like to have a dick? That makes no sense. You have no idea what it's like to have a dick. 24-7, do it, do it, fuck it, do it. That's what it's whoa, saying. Whoa. Do it, do it. <laughs> yeah, do it. That's how we survived as a species. Every man in here is programmed to fuck 85% of the women in this room. Right? Yeah, we are. Do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? It's just that you won't. That's the only reason why we don't, you know? That's not you keeping your dick in check, you know? Some guy at, at Home Depot working there, he wants to fuck just as many women as a celebrity, right? But he, he can't do it because whores don't care about lumber, right? Yo, Bill. <laughs> he ain't running in this lumber store. <laughs> But the second he hits the fucking lottery, all of a sudden, you know that, do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? That wasn't affecting his life. Then all of a sudden these whores show up, I'll do it, I'll suck it, I'll do it, right? Mm. <laughs> no, somebody's got, somebody's got to step up, all right? I'm not even blaming whores, really. It's just, guys, we're fucking idiots. What are we doing? Why are we working so hard and then giving it all away to Bad some chick who did three shifts at a, at a fucking Hooters, you know? <laughs> They're fucking bums sitting there with fucking Dorito dust in their cleavage, walking around with hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm sick of that shit. That's what the law says. hundred years ago, I could beat you with a fucking mop handle. I'd be like, well, that's what the law says. Doesn't make us right. <laughs> no, it's unreal. And all this shit's going down and we don't, we, we're not doing anything. What are we doing? Same old shit. Sitting around watching Shark Week, right? <laughs> Watching shit about poisonous snakes half a world away, just filling your head up with all this useless information. What to do if you come face to face? I'm already watching that, bro. I just watched a video of a caterpillar <laughs> transforming into a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> so what stage you at? Alright, hey, I just thought it was interesting because how it was captured is the times that we are in mm -hmm. where you don't normally see as you're walking by a caterpillar doing his job. Oh, it was, it was a lapse. fast forward. It was a time lapse. And I was like, oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Just one of them. Just yes, caught yes. It. Keep watching those. Keep watching <laughs> Keep those. Keep watching it, right? Mm -hmm. Week, right? <laughs> <laughs> watching shit about poisonous snakes half a world away, just filling your head up with all this useless information. What to do if you come face to face with a Bengal tiger? Don't look at it, don't look away. Slowly back up as you push your friend forward. Right? Bro, that's crazy. All this useless information, yet hanging between your legs is this thing that could crumble your entire empire seven minutes or less. Don't know a fucking thing about it. Don't know a thing about Even it. Even worse, you think it's your friend. <laughs> yeah, you know why? Because your dick, your dick's like a dreamer. You know? Your dick believes. It's like a motivational speaker. <laughs> I don't give a shit what question you ask it. It's always like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sounds like a plan. Exit strategy. Later. We'll be fine. <laughs> Later is crazy, yo. Where's your dick when you get caught, right? Then it's just slumped over like, hey, I thought it was a good idea. Yeah. You have to know that. Dude, your dick, if your dick was a third base coach, it wouldn't hold anybody up. It'd just be fucking waving people around. <laughs> Everybody, go in standing up. You got it. You got yo. it. Oh, shit, here she comes. Slide, slide, slide.
Oh, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, Bill. Hey, uh, hey, I stand on that. Bill, middle name is harsh. He's going to tell it like he feels, bro. Mm -hmm. He ain't going to sugarcoat nothing. Yeah, sometimes he a little bit too much for me. I got to admit that. Yeah. But he, he was talking right with this one. Mm -hmm. Especially mm -hmm. how I said earlier, you know, it's not just the, the women who gets everything when there's not a prenup. Yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> It's the men, too. Mm -hmm. Mary J. Blige, that situation was horrible. That hurt my heart. Nah, I feel you on that, okay. man. I stand on business with us, too, though. Like, I feel like it's always two uh, sides of a coin, man. It's, it's a balance there. It's always a balance. And if you once it's unbalanced, it's depending on who it's, you know, falling on. That's just how it goes. Mm -hmm. Everybody has accountability to play. Yeah, but I also feel that everybody, every man or woman, women mess up, too, mm -hmm. are not going to be stupid. It don't matter if money's involved. True love prevails. No, 100%. 100%. I can't snap with this. It's okay. I, I thought I'd taught you, but you, you got to push it, it down. It's, it's still. It's, it's there? I got the work. movement. We're going to work on it. Yeah, <laughs> come, here. come here. Come here. I got this one. There you go. <laughs> All right, y'all. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.